Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at uh, two types of walls. Uh, one is masonry and the other one is uh, drywall. This is a 3D picture of a uh, masonry block, CMU. In our spreadsheet, we can see this is the length of the wall, also the height of the wall. If we multiply the two, we'll get the area of the wall. Now the conversion factor is uh, there's one square feet of our wall and then you will get 1.125 CMU blocks. Let's plug in the formula. So we'll take the area of the wall and then times 1.125. Now we're getting 338 blocks. In the textbook, you can see everything uh, like mortar, sand, and grout uh, will be associated with number of blocks. In our Excel spreadsheet, we're going to go and find the number of blocks and then right click, pick define name. In this case, we're going to name the value we did as block. And then click OK. Now, it doesn't matter where your cursor is. You can always go to the top from the drop down box and then pick a block. Automatically, Excel knows you are referring to 338, the number we just calculated. For the motor, we need uh, three bags per 100 blocks. What do we do is just type equal. This time, instead of referring to the cell, we just type block then divided by 100 times 3. For the sand, we'll do the same thing. Just type block, then multiply by 11.6, divide by 100, because roughly you will need 11.6 uh, cubic foot of sand per 100 blocks. Finally, for the cell fill, we'll do the same thing. Uh, suppose this is an eight inch regular block. What do you need to do is to take uh, the block quantity, then times 0 0.25. Yeah, that's a quarter cubic foot per block. From this exercise, we can see as long as we name a cell, then we should be able to use that name in the formulas. Of course, for those of you who want to round up all the quantities to the whole number, you can use the round up function we used it from last time. Go to the formula, you can just uh, add something between uh, the equal sign and the block. Uh, just type round up, then with the bracket, then go to the end, type a comma, then there's equal, uh, zero indicating you just wanted the whole number. Close the bracket, then you should have 11 backs. Do the same thing with the sand, also the cell fill as well. Round up with the bracket, oh, add another comma and a zero closing the bracket. So this concludes the masonry portion. Next, we're going to look at a drywall estimating. This is two by four wood framed wall with a half inch drywall sheets on both sides. Uh, however, it's double layers on each side, which means you will get a four layers of drywall in total. From this uh, example calculation in the textbook, you can see uh, all the associated red mix, tape, joint compounds, uh, nails or screws uh, eventually will be based on the number of drywall sheets. In our spreadsheet, first of all, we're going to calculate the wall coverage area. Uh, what we do is uh, you take the lens and the height. Uh, however, you need to cover both sides. And also, it's double layers on each side. So you're going to multiply all four numbers. 
uh, you get four, 540 square feet of the coverage area. Uh, for the number of uh, Jefferson board, we're going to take the coverage area and divide by 32 because each sheet is uh, 4 feet by 8 feet. However, you want to round up. So we'll do this uh, in one step. Uh, you do equal round up with opening bracket and then take the wall coverage area divided by 32. Uh, put a comma and a zero indicating you only want the whole number. Closing the bracket, find your 17 number, and then right click, do define name. In this dialog, just to type the new name as drywall board in one word without any space. Without any space because it's easier for the formula to use. So we just to name this thing as drywall board. Click OK. Now we're going to enter the formula for each one of the accessories. Ready mix, type equal, then drywall board. This will pop up. So pick it, and then times 4.5. There are 4.5 pounds of ready mix per sheet of drywall. Do the same thing as the tape. Type equal, then drywall board times 15.4. You will need 15.4 feet of tape per sheet of drywall. Join the compound equal drywall board times 2.9. 2.9 pounds of joint compounds per sheet. If you're tired of it, you can drag this down. Then all you have to do is go inside the formula and then change the factor you need, for example, nail will be 0 0.16 pounds per sheet of drywall. And so the screws will be 40 per sheet of drywall. Of course, if you want to run them up uh, into the whole numbers, you can do that. Uh, or in uh, my case, uh, I can just uh, simply take out a decimal without doing any roundup. So this concludes uh, the short tutorial for uh, drywall and uh, masonry estimating. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, if you like, you can make some comments below or subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll see you next time.